everybody welcome to my channel it's Eva from Bohemian crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a very easy multi pocket waterfall notepad or a notepad holder we do have beautiful pocket here at the front then we do have waterfall then we do have a little notepad and we do have pocket here and the notepad is holding here so it can be changed and it's wrapped in this beautiful simple book cover it's very easy to make it and uh, i uh, started to create these little journals after visiting chatham suit here in Rotterdam. that's uh, in hospital section in hospital for uh, breast scanning and all kind of you know breast uh, problems i've been there on my first mammograph two weeks ago week ago i received a letter that i have to go back because they found something so uh, the time between i received the letter and i actually went on that second uh, mammograph ultras ultrasound and biopsy was very scary and um <laughs> i i kind of yeah, I kind of freak out and uh, luckily it was just a cyst so I do have all uh, done and uh, I don't have any other issues now which I am very very happy about that because it was a huge relief that I don't have anything worse than a cyst and all these ladies in on that ch uh, in that Chatham suit uh, here in Rotterdam Hospital they were all of them very very lovely really amazing uh, amazing collective of nurses and doctors is there and they make everything to make their patients feel uh, comfortable and calm you know do not freak out <laughs> from everything so uh, i decided to came up with uh, to create something for the staff and maybe for patients who are waiting there so i came up with these little journals i do have quite a lot of these simple notepads they are six inches tall and four inches wide just cute little notepads and i was thinking something what i can you know hold in my hand what can hold this little notepad and maybe can have also something you know interesting like this waterfall and maybe because you know me I love to create pockets, so some window pockets, so here pocket here and pocket here. And I do believe these cute little uh, journals, notepads, can be carried, uh, you know, anywhere we need. So today I'm going to show you how you can create it. Uh, you're going to need one file folder and some old uh, fabric. Uh, I'm using uh, old uh, denim fabric and I have to say that I really love the look of this one so some file folder denim fabric and for making cover I did use uh, old envelopes or here I do have pieces from Serali boxes so use anything what you have at home I hope you will enjoy the tutorial for Chatham little notepads I have used file folder this is Pendaflex file folder I found them on Amazon and link will be down below to, for those who want to have a look. I don't have any uh, affiliated links, so I'm not receiving anything from this link. It's just for you to make sure you know what I'm using. Uh, this file folder measures 9 inches here and 11 and 3 quarter inch here. I'm going to cut this file folder 6 inches here. So I will have two long strips. And cut. And I've been washing my scoring board and it's still a little bit wet. So today I'm going to be using ruler, pencil and scoring tool. I'm going to be using this ball pen. You can use a wooden pick, knitting needle, tweezers. Use something that will help you to score lines. 
and I'm gonna start to make marks so here I'm gonna help myself and I'm gonna draw a little line here kind of continuing this side up from this line I'm gonna score four and one eighth of inch and it's just because my little notepad it's four inches here in the width I'm creating a base for my pocket and I want to have it a little bit bigger so one eighth of inch it's big enough to have it there so my first score line will be four and one eighth of inch from imaginary this kind of going up so from this line and then second will be eight and one quarter here First score line, and second score line. Behind this second score line, I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the paper. I'm gonna keep there about one quarter of inch strip behind my score line, and I'm gonna use that strip to glue it, to glue a pocket. Here. So I'm gonna cut the corners. Gonna fold this and fold this. Burnish with bone folder. And I'm gonna also take my corner punch and with that large one, I'm gonna cut corners here. And this top one like this so I do have a base for back uh, cover from the left over I'm gonna create front cover we do have here this last piece that's gonna be holding the back cover here it's already pre-scored few uh, parts and these two are making half inch so I'm gonna fold it there I'm creating half inch spine and here this one I'm gonna fold here where I just have created the spine and then I'm gonna fold it one more time so my first folding was here where I do have a spine there is one more score line so I'm gonna just fold my little page here one more time and create with that one quarter of inch spine here or kind of ish so I do have a little gap here. I'm gonna grab my corner punch and cut this corner. So this will be back cover. Here we have a spine and this will be front cover. I do have here this second piece from my file folder. I'm gonna take my guillotine and with my guillotine I'm gonna cut four inches pieces so four inch here and one more time four inch and four inch from the opposite side
now this left I'm gonna uh, this should be kind of like square it's five and three quarter by five and nearly three quarter so it's nearly square oh, it doesn't matter that much uh, I'm gonna cut it to the five inches five inches here uh, I'm gonna start the score this is that five inch uh, side so here I'm gonna create few score lines uh, I do have here I do have here two and a half inch and I'm gonna make a mark every half inch every half inch and that's what I'm gonna score I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna make marks half inch from this side half inch from this side and again I'm gonna score these so half inch here half inch here half inch half inch And I'm gonna score. And here. I'm gonna take my scissors. And with my scissors, I'm gonna cut uh, the line here. Oh, maybe I should do. I'm gonna do small marks here about two inches from the bottom two and a half two and a half inch from the bottom here to two inches and same on that opposite side and you do their uh, angles. So this is about two and two in two two inches, two and a half inches. Oh shoot! <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Not that. Eh? So I do have this. It will be moving part for a waterfall. I do have folded all. I'm gonna flip it this way. Fold the last piece. I'm gonna take one of these pieces here I do have two pieces which have this already pre-cutted corner from my file folder these I'm gonna keep for uh, waterfall pieces for those pages here this straight piece I'm gonna uh, take as my moving part in the back I'm gonna place it here match the sides here also fold this up and this up to make sure I'm sitting with that paper nicely slide it to that fold here I'm gonna grab the glue put the glue on this last part and here it's uh, important to put the glue on the full this part especially in these corners because if you will don't glue them they can get stuck once it's moving down and up so make sure you will put nice glue nice amount of glue especially uh, in the corners and on the edges fold it over and let it dry so i do have this one done i'm gonna also use my corner punch for these straight corners i'm gonna use that biggest one and i'm gonna punch the corners on this card which i just glued inside so it will looks like a pack here on the bottom. 
here these two cards I'm gonna take my guillotine and cut them in the size two and three quarters so it should be kind of like on half nearly nearly antiquote so i do have my four pieces prepared for waterfall they will go here on these pieces on these blocks uh, i would like to create it in a vintage style so i'm gonna open all these pieces and use my distress ink and distress every single one of these i will also prepare covered papers so for my back cover i do have prepared this uh, frame where i already placed also that acetate piece so then i will just need to place it here i will have pocket here and then pocket here to make sure this is visible as a pocket i forgot to use circle punch and create a little notch here so once it's placed here it's kind of showing that hey here is pocket and also i do have corner uh, punched corners here so i'm gonna do same on my frame as you can see i did used also sewing machine and i did a little sewing all around of that frame inside so that's for decorating that back for waterfall I do have only this little piece which will be covering this uh, base part and I forgot to create one paper for this one and here is one left over from my decorative papers I can either place it this way or this way well I will see so this will be over it and this will be here so I need to decide which one I would like to see I think this one I would like to see there so that's this and here I do have back paper which will be under my waterfall and it's in the size of this page and then I traced the shape I traced the shape of this page on my decorative paper then I have created a frame in it and i placed already here uh, acetate back i used acetate back like this put double-sided tape on my frame then placed my acetate back with this corner here then i did fussy cut out all around uh, my decorative paper that uh, acetate back and then because here on the bottom it was open I used my sewing machine and I did sewing all around here on these three sides that way it was sewn here on the bottom and it makes beautiful pocket so I will have acetate piece from this side and this side as well and then I created same window here in this piece so now I can glue it here and I will have window from both sides and pocket in there because I did use that acetate back here before I will glue my pieces on my pieces I'm gonna be using distress ink and I will distress every single one of these pieces because I like vintage style so that will take a little bit uh, some some time so i'm gonna come back once all these pieces are distressed i do have all my pieces distressed and i can start to put them together so first uh, it's going this one i do have here a piece of uh, double-sided tape when i glued down the acetate sheet i left a little bit of double-sided tape here on the side so i'm gonna be using it to attach my frame here and that rest here here and here i'm gonna sew with my sewing machine do you have sewn everything i'm gonna cut the uh, 
threads. Now I can take a glue. I'm going to open this. So here I do have pocket from this side. Now I'm going to create pocket where I will slide this notepad. That will be in the back. So I'm going to put the glue on this little fold. And here on the bottom. I'm going to fold it down and glue my little pocket. I'm going to take the front part so I will have frame here and I will have the back side here this is going to be first what I'm going to glue down and it's just like decoration in the background and more like reinforcement so I'm not going to create another pocket in there I'm going to glue this to the front, so I'm going to flip it this way. I'm going to add double-sided tape. I'm going to take off that backing paper. And place it right here. And I do have beautiful pocket here. I'm going to put together the waterfall so first I'm gonna place cardstock here I'm gonna fold this over put that little cardstock here And I can assemble these. Uh, first, I'm going to glue uh, these two cards, which has that corner cut it. And I'm going to place that corner here. I'm going to actually glue that corner down. So, my first card. And second, again, I'm going to glue the side with that cutted corner. I do have my waterfall glued all together. Uh, I'm going to fold these till the last one, last one up, and go with these around. They need to be big enough so this amount of cardstock will slide in there. So I'm going to fold these around it. Better bigger than smaller. You will have uh, problems to glue it down if you will make this one small. These folds too tight. So better bigger than, you know, later find that you can do that waterfall just because these folds were too tight okay so I can slide it up I will also place here straight away eyelet so I'm gonna measure middle of my card and place that eyelet so I do have that eyelet fixed, I can flip it over, put my folds on the back side, grab my glue, I'm going to place here a nice amount of glue, not too much, but uh, quite a lot to make sure these will get glued properly, especially these start pieces. Here and here they need to be glued once I will start to move this you know this will fall down so these start pieces these started sides 
they have to be glued nicely to a paper so they will don't get in the way of this and let this dry I can also take my back cover flip it this way place it with this fold right here much top and bottom put the glue on this last fold fold it over and glue it all together once it's all dry you should start to play with this and if it will get stuck especially here just make sure you don't get uh, stuck here on the sides and play with it a little bit like a few times ah hey, come on come on come on come on to make sure it will work then you can close your book and we're gonna create a cover for the little book i do have cut that pieces for the cover of my book the measurement is six by four so i do have two pieces six by four from old envelope i also got it two sides uh, of these corners with my corner punch one side is straight with straight corners that will be side for the spine now i'm gonna glue this and create co uh, create cover for my book i know this spine is half inch so here on this linen strip of paper i'm gonna create that half inch spine i'm gonna be using my ruler and create little template so from this line i'm gonna create half inch spine here and here again draw a line and now i know how big a gap i should keep between those two pieces of chipboard or cardstock i can take my glue and glue it down One side and opposite side and because this is linen paper it's actually quite easy to also match how how high I should place with my paper piece to make sure they are matching nicely Here. Now I can glue these over the ends here and here. I'm gonna glue this uh, base on the fabric. I'm, I do have here a piece of cotton, uh, not cotton, cotton denim fabric so i'm gonna be gluing it on my little cover now i just need to let it dry so the cover is dry i also cut the fabric around and i used my sewing machine and i did just one simple stitching all around i'm gonna take this beautiful embossing folder and emboss the front cover with this chandelier so it looks like this it's beautiful how it looks on on fabric and now i can glue the cover on my little journal
and I'm gonna let this dry and then just add a few little embellishments like here this uh, leather strip add different papers and some small embellishments and you can have beautiful little journal with this waterfall uh, holder and little notepad so I'm making this uh, easy journals for Chatham suit here in Rotterdam. Ah, this one I need to work a little bit on that mechanism. And this is what we have created today. That's all my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it and maybe you will try these little journals made from one file folder. Thank you so much for stopping by today and spending your time with me. Have a wonderful time. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.